Hey you guys, not to be annoying, just real quick, some of you wanted to see what the different beanies look like, so I'm gonna show you really quickly. I did a little video about it, and then the video will proceed into all the snow stuff. You can fast forward through this if you're not interested. I'm sorry about this, guys. <laughs> Bye. Hey you guys, <laughs> these are the beanies. So I'm gonna post this short little video for both of the, or for a lot of my future videos. But yeah, we've got all black. These are all 100% fine merino wool. Different color patches on some of them too. Just absolutely stunning, these are. Stunning, you guys. As I said, we got 96 of them. Boom shakalaka. So yeah, so these are, these are the colors we've got. Hope you guys enjoy them. Love y'all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, happy Christmas Eve. The snow for the evening. I don't know what that sound is. There's like a something going on with my car. But happy Christmas Eve. We're gonna do a little. You guys hear that? It's like brrr. we're gonna do a little nighttime drive because our snow has finally ended for today. And the next snow should start at about eight. Or I mean, four p.m. tomorrow on Christmas Day. So we're gonna go drive by Snow Summit real quick. Take a look at what's going on over there. The roads are so icy right now. You just saw this Jeep right here struggling to get up this little tiny driveway. It's not easy and I'm not supposed to make a left out of there, guys. Do not follow my, look, see, we're sliding all over the place. So we're gonna turn right onto Brownie and slide a little bit here. It is really icy, like really bad. It doesn't look that bad, guys, but it's bad slippery than it's been this whole time at least for me see what is that sound you guys hear that right I feel like maybe there's some snow like rubbing against something and I need to hit hit a bump really hard to knock some of it off or something because I did get caught in some deep snow earlier today struggled to get out of it but I got out of it So we're gonna head up to Snow Summit. This is gonna be the last video for the evening because as I said, the snow has is kaput. Oop, we're sliding through the stop sign here a little bit. Let's just kind of spin a little bit here. Look at that, guys. And this, it looks dry, doesn't it? It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. You can tell on the top of Snow Summit, it's snowing still a little bit. We're on Summit Boulevard right now. That sound doesn't start up again because it's really bothering me. What a beautiful night. What a gorgeous night. As I said, when the storms hit this mountain right here, it rises, condenses, and everything dumps right here. And then the rest of the storm that makes it through hits the dry desert air and it just rips the storms apart. So we're gonna drive through the parking lot here. It's still making that sound, jeez. I really think I have snow stuck like a duck. We're just gonna pull up to the, to the front here so you guys can see how beautiful Snow Summit looks right now. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful snow summit. Let's see here. Look right, look at that, look at that run right there. It's just so beautiful and so peaceful. Man, I'm telling you, this is a gorgeous place. Especially when it's really quiet. Oh, 
that is gorgeous. Zoom in on that, man. What a beautiful place. What a beautiful place. I hope you guys that got up here today have a good day. Besides the rock avalanches that we've been having, apparently there is a sinkhole as well. Thanks to our friend in Crestline, she told us there's a big sinkhole that ended up happening in the road. So that wasn't helping matters out at all. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on up here. The avalanche, the rock avalanche has almost killed my friend yesterday. No kidding. He said a humongous boulder smashed right in front of their truck as they were driving down and it shattered on impact and they had to drive right through it. Thank God they have a really big Jeep Rubicon. But yeah, I think we're gonna take this th through the village too, guys. But I don't know if, if I wanna follow all the slow traffic. So we'll find a better way. We'll find a better way. It's going through the village at nighttime is beautiful. Seriously, I'm still a little bit disappointed that we didn't get all that snow we should have got. But by tomorrow night, we should have about six to eight more inches starting at 4 p.m. And as I said, when they say starting at 4 p.m., typically that means it's not going to start till like 6 p.m. It's just the way it works. I don't make the rules. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make a left here. Funny, uh, funny enough, we are getting uh, a couple light little snowflakes, but nothing. Uh, it's more of like a like a a hazy fog, not a hazy, but a foggy type of a snowflake. But so you guys know we're out. We're on the corner of Summit Boulevard and Big Bear Boulevard, right here where 7-Eleven is. Oh yeah. As I said, we're just gonna do a quick drive through the village and then come back. And then tomorrow will be another day. I don't know if I'm gonna do a calm before the storm video for tomorrow though, because it's, it's happening tomorrow. Come on, you stoplight. Just look at the gas prices, man. Are they that bad down there too? Probably worse. You know what, I'm gonna stop this video for right now. Turn it green here. We are, oh no we're not. Are you kidding me? They better be turning freaking green here. <clears throat> Can't believe, that guy owes me money. I think some of this little snow we're getting right now is actually being blown down from up there, believe it or not. I know it is. But right above us, there's stars. That has to be snow inside something. That's just... Yeah, being a pain in the butt on my car, but I'm gonna take it to my friend tomorrow and see. Oh wait, it's Christmas, he's not gonna be there. That's our luck. We'll hit every light. Just so you guys don't get bored with the lights, we're going to turn it off and start again. All right, 
outside. So it's 32 degrees outside. It's exactly freezing. It feels like it's a little bit colder, so I don't know if my ambient temperature gauge is right, but we'll just say it's 32. Already need to fill up again. Look at that. Jeez. Seriously, I really need to hit like a big bump to shake whatever is is making my car make that sound. I need to shake it loose. Alrighty, Big Bear Boulevard, folks. Empty as can be for a Friday night. Especially for Christmas Eve. Seriously, for all of you that were planning on being here for Christmas, I am so sorry. I am so sorry, especially for all the children. I am so sorry, you guys. It makes me feel horrible. Because I know how much I loved coming up here as a kid. Lake Arrowhead was my favorite place in this mountain range, but I still... We'd come up here to go skiing, obviously. Lake Arrowhead didn't have any ski resorts. But let's, uh... <clears throat> Seriously, every single light. Isn't that great? And yeah, we are getting a couple snow flurries, but it's <clears throat> it's from right above the mountain there. <clears throat> Welcome to the village, you guys. still having some fun over here. It's only 6.45, but it's not that packed. Not that packed at all. But yes, the closer we're getting to the mountain, we're getting these snow flurries. But technically, the snow is done in town. I mean, this is all we're going to get tonight. Is wind-driven snow flurries. Watch out, people. Jeez, you gotta look where you're walking, people, because people are not paying attention while they're driving up here. It's irritating. Go ahead, buddy. You guys wanna cross? Okay, I guess not. Look at how beautiful that dog is. Wow, look at how beautiful. What a beautiful dog. Look at this car. Yeah, buddy. I love it, man. I love it. I love the festive atmosphere. Here's Jack in the crack. Got a bunch of little shops through here. You guys have seen the village plenty of times with me. At nighttime, it's a, it's a different perspective, though. crazy how there's stars right above us, but all this little, these flurries are blowing from the top of the mountain down. Alright, now we're leaving the village. Wow, 
look at all these kids playing, man. This is so cool. People walking around, just enjoying the snow. I love it. This place does look so beautiful. It was an all right place. I mean, it could be updated for sure. I think it's owned by the Holiday Inn, but it's called The Lodge at Big Bear Lake. This guy's gonna have a hard time stopping, watch. Ah, oh, he made it, good job, bud. Okay. So we're gonna hang it right here. And hopefully not slide into this truck. Sweet. Guys, please take my word for it. It's very icy out here. And we're just going to take the main boulevard back. There's no traffic. Woohoo! Anyway, you guys, you guys have seen all of this. Merry Christmas to everybody. I will be responding to your comments. I love you all. And I hope each of you have a beautiful, wonderful night. I hope Santa brings you everything you want. And uh, I just hope the kids have a great night and a beautiful day tomorrow. Merry Christmas to everybody. I love you all.